Uh, welcome everybody out here to uh, the Payson City Council meeting for February 1st, 2023. Uh, I asked Terry Schramm if he would uh, lead, uh, open this meeting with, with prayer. Just step right up to the pulpit if you would, Terrace. He came here unaware, but I grabbed him. <laughs> Dear Heavenly Father, thanks for staying, thanks for one time to be able to come together here at City Council meeting. Please let us be able to feel thy spirit and be able to get along with each other and that we'll be able to be able to make the best judgment to our knowledge. Please bless us as well that when we leave here that we'll be able to travel in safety and be able to make it home to our loved ones. And we say these things in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. 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 Thank you, Terrace. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll lead us in uh, the pledge if you'd all stand and repeat after me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Okay, we'll go on to uh, B, the consent agenda. Number one, approval of the January 18th, 2023 City Council Minutes. Number two, resolution, uh, the library, library board appointments. If there's no discussion by council, I'm ready for a motion. I move to be approved this consent agenda. Second. Okay, we have a motion that's been seconded. Roll call vote starting with Council Hyatt. Yes. Council Prosgard. Yes. Council Carter. Yes. Council Beecher. Yes. Council Christensen. Yes. Thank you. Motion just passes. Going on to C petitions. Uh, I don't know. I don't see Kim here, and it sounds like maybe we we do not have any nominations for the uh, CTC Marriage Youth Recognition Award. So we'll move on to public forum. A public forum will be open, and anyone can speak on the items that are not on the agenda. And if you would, uh, if you do address us, please uh, be cognizant of the time. Please take three minutes or less, and we'll go to that point. Not seeing anyone in the congregation that would like to do that. Is there anybody online, Kim? We'll go ahead and close the public forum then. Moving on to number three, staff reports. Dave. I'll be the first mayor council. I, I know I've been sending you messages. We're trying to set up a retreat. Uh, we had the 24th and 25th. When we went to book it, they said they were no longer available. <laughs> So I'm asking the council if you can look at March 3rd and 4th, if that would fit in your calendar. Uh, we're looking at, it won't work for you? Okay. If it doesn't work, we can stay with the 24th, 25th and just find another venue. We were looking at the homestead, um, but they, they ended up not having the room, so. Um, okay. We'll, we'll try to find another venue then for the 24th, 25th. Okay. And yeah, I think that's all. Thanks. Sorry. Not hard. It's my niece's wedding. <laughs> oh. Okay. Do we have any other staff that would like to? Oh, Robert, come on up. I'll we'll invite your niece along. Oh, so I would. Uh... You'd be a big problem. Yeah. I'll just be super brief, Council. Um, I just wanted to give a shout out to Jill for. Uh, the rap sheet, you all should have received this in your email. Um, she takes a lot of time to put this together and you can see that there is a lot going on in Payson. So if you have any questions, uh, just let us know. Okay, Thanks. thank you, Robert. Any other staff? Doesn't look like uh, it, there is, so we'll move on to uh, uh, council reports, starting with council Christensen. Oh, is there? Oh. I, I'm I'm good. Everything seems to be running smoothly. There's no problems. And I think we're doing great. Keep it up. I, I don't have any issues or Thank anything you. I need to bring up. So hey. I don't either. Card. Wow. I'm okay, going good. for a short meeting tonight. Okay. My plan. That, I vote for that. Council Pro Guard. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Did we already ask item item E? You fifth it. Okay. When we're all the way from second it to fifth it. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've changed my mind. Oh. <laughs> Maybe it's you that don't. 
<laughs> Good. Hey, Mayor, did we did we miss the library board appointments on the agenda? No, that was just the, on the on the, it was on the okay. On the consent consent. Agenda. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, we We'd already talked Mayor, about I, it. I did have one thing. Though. Oh, cool. I I was super impressed with the emails and with the the information that the department sent out the development department sent out with the area plans. And I think Jill and Robert ought to be very well commended for, first of all, publicizing it and getting as many people there. To get 60 people to a meeting like that in this time of year is to be wonderfully commendated. Thank you. Uh, I was unable to attend. I was chained to a sunny beach over in Hawaii <laughs> against Against your will. You yeah, seriously sure. are looking at a guy that hates sand between his toes. <laughs> but I was told I was going to go and smile the whole time, so I did. So anyway, thank you. And thank you to, to the rest of the rest of the staff. I, I say this all the time, but I don't want to be repetitious in it. But there's just the unseen things that go on, um, whether it's the ambulance crew, whether it's the, the street department, or whether I believe it's the electric department that puts up the flags and takes them down. Yeah. Just, you know, little comments from citizens that just say, you know what, we, we do have some things going right. So Dave, please make sure that staff knows how much we appreciate it. I would second that or even fifth it if, if I need I to. I would sixth it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, we'll go ahead and move on to the action items. The action items, the public hearing slash ordinance on 10 foot public utility easement vacation in uh, SX3 subdivision, plat A at 800 South and 1600 West. Michael. So I don't have a presentation. I'm just gonna show you a few um, images, but these are all things that you would have seen in your staff reports. And of course I ended up closing one out. Okay. So this is the new subdivision weight. Well, this is the new lot when it's consolidated. And now I have to pull up the one that I just closed out for you. Um, but as you said, Mayor, this is approximately 800 South and what far West are we? 1600 West. 1600 West, thank yep. you. Um, and this is for uh, Jones Paint and Glass. They plan to do a retail store here. I can show you a quick look of what they're trying to do there. So that would be the front of the facade there. And the east, north, and west elevations. And so what they're doing is the, um, the lot that's shown here is actually two lots existing now. And they want to vacate the easement that goes between the center of these two lots and then consolidate these two lots into this one. Um, so I will pull that back up if anyone has any questions, but um that's really the presentation i've got pretty straightforward just making yeah. a bigger lot correct staff have any concerns with it uh no okay okay uh we'll go ahead uh, uh <clears throat> based on this presentation from michael to uh accept a motion for a open uh public hearing make a motion thank you motion and seconded okay uh all in favor aye. Uh, aye. yes okay we now have a, a public hearing open uh, step please step the mic if you have some comments for us state your name and speak clearly uh and again uh, limit your your comments to three minutes or less and basically whether you agree or disagree with the presentation you've just heard so we'll go ahead and go to that point okay not seeing anyone uh, coming up any online i'll accept a motion to close public hearing so 
So moved. So seconded. Okay. All in favor? Yes. yes. Good. Okay. Any further council discussion than we've heard with the regard to the presentation? Okay. Again, I'm ready for a motion then. I'll make a motion that we approve the 10 foot public utility easement vacation in SX3 subdivision plat A at 800 South and 1600 West. Okay, we have a motion and seconded. Uh, roll call vote starting with Council Hyatt. Yes. Council Proscard. Yes. Council Carter. Yes. Council Beecher. Yes. Council Christensen. Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Number two on the uh, same uh, subdivision, uh, SX3 subdivision plat A amendments to 800 at 800 South and 1600 West. Michael. Um, and this is more or less summarize what I've just told you prior. So this is what I intended to show you earlier. I had to pull it back up, but as you can see, the current subdivision has these two lots. Um, what the council just barely voted to do was to vacate this easement that's in between the two of them here. And that therefore allows for these two lots to potentially be consolidated. Okay, I uh, need a motion on this uh, subdivision. I move that we uh, um, approve the uh, consolidation of lots one and two into a single lot for the SX three subdivisions. Okay. We have a motion and seconded. All in favor, say aye. Yes. 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 Or, or yes, either one. <laughs> okay, motion carries, thank you. Moving right along, along, we'll go to number three, ordinance, a general plan slash transportation master plan amendments regarding the future functional classification map and to modify some existing future road classifications. Travis. Yes, I do, Kim. The title wasn't really short. How's the presentation gonna be short? Oh, that's shorter than the title. <laughs> He's taught to everybody. <laughs> So mayor and council, um, this one is, if it comes up here, hopefully, there we go. So we uh, had to amend our transportation master plan uh, functional classification map so that we could obviously fix some areas that are changing with developments and that. So on the left is the existing map that we currently have. And on the right is obviously what is changing. I know it's a little hard to see with the lights, but there was an open house uh, held that luckily the planning department covered because I was out of town. So the mayor informed me that I owe them. But <laughs> um, And there were there were some areas like I kind of, if, if you can see them that were are kind of in that yellow cloud on the right side um, that they brought up. One is the eight south connection out to West Mountain. Obviously it goes right through a, an existing house. And, you know, there there's, Utah Avenue, where it makes the bend from Utah Avenue down to 200 South, like we've talked about in the in past meetings. But, you know, like I said, this is just a plan so that we kind of have an idea if somebody wants to develop that we know which roads go kind of where when it's an arterial or collector road. But the plans will and can change, obviously, over time. That's why we're changing it right now. So I know some people are not happy with, you know, some of the proposed alignments here, but we, we would just them partially for like the Brown property. And then also, as you can see, we increased the area that's shown up on the map. And then we really tried to match up with some of what MAG is, is planning for the trans you know, plan that they're working on so that we were consistent. So that was a lot of the changes. I mean, I know it looks like a lot more changes than, than that, but that was kind of the main changes. So that's what we're just looking at is to adopt this so that you know as future development comes in, we have a good idea what to, to tell them where our plan is, so. Okay. Thank you, Travis. Uh, uh, before we go to the council discussion, I, I just wanted to say a few things that uh, was, were mentioned. This can be changed. It, it is something that uh, we need to plan before we can modify from that plan, which I've had discussions with Terrace and uh, uh, Tram. And so we're, we're just setting down a basic thing so we can, can modify from it if we need to as time goes on. So any council discussion? And that was what the public, uh, the open house was for last week as well that you missed. And uh, kudos to, to them again to, to go to the extra mile, something we didn't really necessarily have to, but felt like it was a good idea to make sure people knew exactly the whys. And, and, and so that was held then. So any council discussion? Um, so on that corner, 
you know where they put, as you come out, we'll go back and then turn right there. I can't remember, but I know who you're talking about. It's a business. Anyway. It's a business now. Yeah. It's an insurance. Yep. Yeah, they live there, but they've got a home business. Anyway, I don't know if I need to talk to you or because it is getting really, really dangerous because those diesels are coming around and cutting you off on both sides. Like they don't go out wide enough. So if you're coming around this way, you're slamming on your brakes so that they don't hit you because, well, you've seen it. The road is really narrow there and it comes around and the fence is only that far away from the road. And then there's great big ruts there. So I don't know what we're gonna do, but we gotta fix that. It's, it's happened to me twice now. Okay. Yeah, we can look at it and see. Is that our road? It yeah, is. it is our road. See, it, you know, I was surprised it was, but it is. And then if there's something in the budget that we need to do, we can obviously we're going to start working on that here pretty quickly. Well, so even if you just come around and, and the trees are right there, so you can't even like if you come around too and and they're coming right here and you hit that tree. I mean, we're going to be liable because it's not safe. And like I said, it doesn't matter if they're coming this way or coming this way. They have ran me off the road both times. You're talking on the north side of that bend. Yeah, as you come around that bend, yeah. there's like no room. The fence is right there. And then even on the other side, they come and I mean, it's they're coming this way. They come clear around. You're going off to the side of the road. It Something has to be changed because it's, they don't slow down. They're not going 20. Well, and most of them are double trailers. Yes, they are. So I always like to volunteer Brad if it's a speeding issue that he can do. <laughs> well, we think he'd have to sit out there all day and watch it. You know, yeah. and it's, it's just hard because, you know, like I said, we can deal stuff. with radiuses and stuff, but then if we have to buy property and that, that obviously takes a lot more time and money. So well, do we own, how far do we own into that property? The, just to the, the fence? That, uh, I just to the fence, that I a think. A long time ago, Jill, that, that fence is property line. Those trees sit on the other side of that property line. You know, you, you know where I'm talking. Yeah. I, yeah we have to Probably know. something that uh, we, the staff can take a look at. A long, long time ago. I mean, that looks on, more like a business is being if, right if that there was a right of way or an easement there and it's not it that property line goes right where that fence is so it actually the property line needs to go back to where that fence is at so i think that's what Charles was saying yeah we have to look at and, and what right of way we have or we need to have in order to this is something that uh terrace and his, his dad rod we could have a conversation with them okay yeah so <clears throat> come on come on up to the Podium, if you would, Terrace. Yeah. They they own that business there. Yeah, and they're going to put a formal uh, application. So the the property you're talking about is 1630 West, 200 South, right on the corner. Yep. Mm -hmm. And so um, we're proposing, I guess, with it as well. So we're going to plan to build some storage units there, which is going to open. Which I submitted and gave some packets to the open house, which hopefully Robert gave to some of you. Probably not anyways, yet because it, there's a timetable. It's okay. To that. But anyways, on there, um, it has like a proof plan of what storage units we've planned to hopefully build there, which has like um, a storm drainage kind of that comes out, which would open that curve about 30 feet right on the edge there. So where our property line, it would come 30 feet where it would open it up drastically around the corner. Um, on top of that as well, within the packet, um, we pointed out that like... Um, you know how we have the speed limit sign by the police station that flashes? Um, the one out there right now on the corner, you can't even see. It's covered with trees on the other side. So no one can even see the speed limit really sign going around there. Um, but without the trees, so our plan is hopefully to get approved for the storage units. We plan to hopefully take the trees, move the open the road about 30 feet around the corner. And then our tallest building would be about nine, nine feet tall. So, I mean, it would open it drastically. Sounds like we have an opportunity to take care of what we need to take care of. Wonderful. The trees are one of the things, too, that you're that's blocking. Because I lease that ground right next to yours. And so when I'm trying to come out with the tractor, I can't see. Like, I'm taking my life into my own hands because I can't see past the trees. But as they did mention, so, like, the property line is, like, right where right our there. fence is, right where those trees are. Okay. Okay, well, we look forward to those plans. Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. Are you actively doing that now? Or is yeah. that? He's so submitted that is submitted. So I'm, I'm actively doing it now. So like, I've also like, within the packets, when you do get them, you'll see that we have like a, well, 
a small diagram of what we're going to be submitting that we're in the process of submitting at the moment. Is, is it your responsibility to change that profile of the road as part of your? your um, so just with it, it's just kind of like the way we have it set up is to kind of benefit others and us with the storm drain. We kind of fit it so it would fit kind of perfect where it would help the road open up the corner and help us at the same time because we have to have it either way. Opportunity sounds like an opportunity we need to take advantage of. Yeah, so like because we have to have it sidewalk as well on that with it. Well, well, we'll take a look at the the plans yeah. they've got. Yeah, but we're required anyways to have some sort of drainage system. So we thought we yeah. put it where it would benefit the corner for everyone, okay. where it would open it about thirty feet off. Okay. And in the diagrams, when you do see it, you'll be able to see that it's marked clearly. Okay. okay. Thank you for being here tonight. It's worked out well. Okay, uh, any further discussion, Council? If not, I'm ready for a motion. Motion to, do I have to read that whole thing? <laughs> however, however you want motion to. To, improve, to approve I did, you can. the ordinance of general plan, transportation master plan amendments regarding the future functional classification map and to modify some existing future road classification. <laughs> Now but, that is bureaucracy and it's fine. Fun to read, huh? That's my <laughs> I want to second it because I want to be part of it forever. <laughs> okay, I have a motion to have been seconded. Uh, roll call vote starting with Council Christensen. Yes. Council, Council whatever <laughs> my name is. Yeah, be sure. I don't know why you yes. got a metal black here. Be, Count Kirk. Uh, Council Carter. Be sure. Yes. <laughs> Council Proscard. Yes. Council Hyatt. Okay, motion carries. Thank you. Okay, number four, resolution, continue carbon-free power project with UMS. Dave. Mayor Council, we have a resolution in front of you and I, we had an open house last week. I think some of you went to that and we tried to meet with all of you, but we're at a crossroads now where we uh, can pull out of the, of the carbon-free power project with UMS. Uh, with all the information that we've been able to, to gather, it seems like it's, it's best to stay in. Uh, until January of next year. Um, there's, there's some benchmarks that they have to make if they get, if they don't get 80% prescription uh, for the megawatts uh, by January, then um, the project dies and we get all of our money back. Uh, right now we could get out and get most of our money back, but not all of it, but there's not a lot of resources out there. It's kind of a, a tough time in the energy market. So Staff's proposal is that we stay in, and that's what this resolution does. It, it has us continue with the project uh, until at least January of next year, and then we have another chance to have it come before you, and you can make a, another decision at that time. I don't know if you have any questions for what you've heard or what you've read or anything else like that, but uh, we need a, a resolution uh, to continue the carbon-free power project. You know, as I... As I attend some of those meetings with Brian, the, the valley is out of power. I'm, I'm overstating something that almost every city is buying on the spot market because we don't have power. So if, if we do opt out of this thing, we dang well better have another, another option. Yeah. Or else we're going to end up buying power that we, we can't even begin to afford. Uh, until there's another viable option, I think these new modern uh, carbon free, whatever you want to call them, uh, plants are, are the future. It's just maybe a little before it's time out here in the West. I don't know why, why there's such a balk on it. But I, I, for one, am greatly in favor of staying in, in right up to the bitter end. Uh, because I, I think it's a great option for us in the future, long after I'm gone. Yeah, there's there's a lot of pressures to close down all the power or the coal plants, mm -hmm. and there's not alternatives right now. We we did sign up a couple of years ago for a solar project that would cover some of our shortage, and and because of a supply chain, it's pushed back till the fall of next year. So we we will have that come online, but it's not in time for the summer months. And a nuclear this nuclear, I think it's great. Uh, you know, I, I don't know if it was Brian or somebody mentioned, you know, this technology is already well in use. Every 
every day in the in the ports and seaports, the yeah. nuclear subs come in and out, and it's the same technology, and it's been there for years and years. Yeah. It's just it's it's a long process with government regulation, and it's got a great safety record as well. Yep. So I I think it's good to stay in, but if if we can't get the uh, the people to sign up for the the other megawatts, we're five megawatts out of four hundred. Um, uh, it's too expensive if people don't sign up, yeah. but I think it's good to stay in. Although I don't get a vote, I'd like to go on record. I believe we should stay in as well. Okay. Or I like that they're not using water to cool it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah but it's an air cooling system. Yeah. Yep. Very little waste too, so by comparison. So and this is more more dis discussion. You are, what? You are are you okay with it still? Oh yes, I okay. attended the meeting. Yeah, I was there. That's why I'm saying it. Yes, I am. Okay. Unless there's any further discussion, I'm ready for a motion. What, could we indulge Brian for one minute? Come on up, Brian, if you want to be indulged. I want him indulged. Okay. <laughs> uh, we were headed for a record. Yeah, we were. <laughs> I know, but. You have one minute, Brian. <laughs> Brian is a very valuable resource of information. And Brian, Brian has done his homework on this. And I, I just want everybody to hear what Brian has to say. On the nuclear? Yes. Uh, <clears throat> and on the options available. Options available, there is none. Uh, last month, our power bill was double of last December's because we had to buy market power because NEBO was shut down. We have, we have no other options. I mean, we're so limited. <clears throat> Even if we do get solar, the only time that we have that is in the daytime. Uh, right now, the power market's transitioning to where daytime power is cheaper than nighttime power. We locked in a contract for nighttime power at 190 mils. That's 19 cents a kilowatt hour. And we've been, <clears throat> in the past, we've always been Three, set up to where we bought market in the nighttime because it's always been really cheap, but that's not the case no more. So I think that's a good thing. I think we need to stay in. Charging cars. Thank you, Brian, that means a lot. Okay, council, I'm ready for a motion. I'd like to make a motion uh, mm -hmm. on the resolution that we can, can that we continue our carbon-free power project with UAMPS. I'll second that. Okay, we have a motion and seconded. Uh, roll call vote starting with Council Hyatt. Yes. Council Proskard. Yes. Council Carter. Yes. Council Beecher. Yes. <laughs> Council Christensen. Yes. Okay, motion carries. Thank you. The next uh, motion I need is for adjournment. So moved. You guys are going to get out of here early tonight. <laughs> <laughs> That's the shortest city council meeting ever. You guys lucked out. Did Can we get a second a... on that? Uh, my on my motion. Uh, Linda or Teresa. Linda Teresa. Okay. All in favor? Uh, yes. yes. We're adjourned. Yes. I Thank yes. you, Mayor Council.